Atia for laughing in my Essil's face when she DNA tested my daughter. I, 30M, have a daughter who's six. I am not biologically related to her at all. There is no blood relation between us. I was friends with her mother for most all of my childhood. We were never involved romantically and were always just friends. She had her daughter at 23 with her 25-year-old husband. When my daughter was a newborn, about three months technically, both her mother and father were killed. I won't go into too much detail for privacy reasons, but it was workplace shooting. My friend and her husband had worked in the same building and were both killed. Both my friend and her husband had grown up with less than ideal families and didn't have any siblings, so there wasn't any next of kin for their daughter to go to. However, because I was close with them, I was able to adopt her. Even though I had been iffy about the idea of kids, I didn't want their daughter to grow up in foster care or around people who didn't have a connection to her bio parents, so I stepped in. My parents and siblings know that my daughter is not my actual daughter, biologically speaking. My daughter, I'll call Lily for the post, also knows that she's adopted. I never really hid the fact that she was adopted, she knows her parents are dead and were killed by a bad man, but I'm saving the details for when she's older. Lily does not look like me at all. She looks exactly like her mother and biological dad. Most people assume that I'm her bio dad and that she just took after her mom. I don't ever really correct this when and if people assume this because it just seems unnecessary. My brother has been with his fiance for about two years now. A few weeks ago, we were all meeting up at my parents' house and my SIL saw an old picture of me, my friend and her husband. She pointed to my friend and asked who she was, and I explained that was Lily's mother. Syl got quiet and stood in front of the picture for a while. I didn't think much of it. To clarify, she knows my friend died, but I guess didn't know that she had been married, or that Lily is not my bio daughter. I suppose she assumed my daughter was mine and my friend's biological daughter. My sister-in-law got a DNA test done on my daughter behind my back. She used my brother's DNA for the test, and when it came back that they weren't related, she knew that meant me and Lily weren't related. She came up to me with the results and waved them in my face, saying that I was taking care of a dead woman's affair baby. She said this to me in front of my daughter. I just stared at her for a while before bursting out laughing at this. I told her I knew Lily wasn't my biological daughter and that this thing called adoption exists. Her face went red and she stormed off. My brother is mad I embarrassed his fiance, but I said she embarrassed herself by DNA testing a kid that isn't hers and then parading the results up to me. What did she want me to do? What was her goal with this? Did she want me to break down and abandon my daughter? My brother said she thought she was doing the right thing and called me an asshole. I don't feel like the asshole, especially considering my SIL was the one who stuck her nose where it doesn't belong. I'm asking for Reddit opinions, mostly just for validation, so was I the asshole. Update 1, my SIL ended up coming to my house and apologizing, as well as telling me the full story. My brother put her up to the DNA test. When I first adopted Lily, my brother for some reason believed that Lily was my bio daughter. He thought that me and Lily's mom were together and just weren't telling anyone. He believes that when she got pregnant, Lily's mom told me that Lily was mine and that she was going to just say that it was her husband's, and I went along with it because I didn't really want kids. Syl was under the impression I believed I was Lily's bio dad. She saw the picture of Lily's mom and I and after asking for clarification on who she was, assumed we were together in it, and then got suspicious when she saw that the other guy in the picture, Lily's actual bio dad, looked a lot like Lily. I also want to clarify, I didn't tell her that Lily's bio dad was in the picture because she had specifically pointed to Lily's mom, and I assumed she knew that Lily was adopted. I didn't know my brother had been telling her lied for nearly two years. She got the DNA test out of her own suspicions, and my brother helped her with it because he thought it would reveal that I was actually Lily's bio dad. He manipulated her into thinking that it would clear the air of suspicion when really he was just trying to prove that I was really Lily's bio dad and lying about the reasons for adoption. Well, of course the results proved I wasn't Lily's bio dad and that my brother was wrong. My brother felt too embarrassed to confess to his fiance that he had lied about the circumstances, which is why SIL confronted me with the results. 
My SIL also apologized for showing me the results in front of my daughter. She told me that her mom had an affair and cheated on her father, got pregnant with another man's kid, and had let her father believe the kid was his. Her father was devastated by this when he found out, and she grew very resentful of women who do that to their spouses. She had wanted to sit me down and talk to me about it without my daughter, but when she saw me with my daughter she got angry thinking I was being led on to believe I was raising my daughter when I was actually raising another man's kid, and she ended up exploding and immediately waved the results in my face. My sister-in-law does feel very guilty and she's angry at my brother for lying to her. I'm not angry at her for doing the test because she thought she was doing the right thing. I also forgave her for the way she told me about the results because clearly affairs are a sensitive subject for her and I can understand why she would have exploded like that. I'm pretty sure she plans to break up with my brother now and I don't blame her. When I called and asked my brother about this, he admitted it. When I asked why he would think this, he said that he couldn't think of a reason why a man who had been against having kids at the time would willingly adopt a baby without having a blood connection to it. He told SEL that I was Lily's bio dad and was aware of the fact. He took it a step further and said that me and Lily's mom were together at the time of Lily's conception. Both me and my parents are going low contact with my brother for a while now. I know I will forgive my brother eventually, but I can't do that right now. He believed I was low enough to have an affair with a married woman, get her pregnant, take no responsibility, allow her to pass off the kid as another man's, and then only take responsibility because her mom died. Update 2. I don't know if multiple updates are allowed for this sub. If not, take this down and I'll post to my profile. Some people were wondering what happened with my brother and Syl. Well, she dumped him. They tried to make it work, but that only lasted a few days and she ended up giving him the ring back. My brother got shit-faced drunk on my front lawn in the middle of the night. I was pissed because Lily had school the next morning and this woke her up. My brother was yelling insults to both me and my daughter. We called police and he spent the night in jail for drunken disturbance. I believe the official charge was something like that. I sure as hell pressed charges because he was saying some borderline threatening statements to me and my daughter. I don't think it's enough to qualify for a restraining order, but if it is, I'll get a temporary one. On a more positive note, Lily is doing well. She's getting straight A's in even subject and is excited about her first ever science project. She's been talking my ear off about it.